folks. I'm uh, going to be trying my um, a new implement that I just bought for our Kubota uh, 4701. Um, it's actually the least expensive implement that I think uh, you can buy out there. Um, uh, there's one I'd like to have that's ten thousand dollars, but we don't have that kind of money to throw around. So, um, but we did. We can't afford one that's under three hundred dollars, and there it is. It's really for potato harvesting or digging roots out of the ground and and uh, uh, getting ready to plant a harvest, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but my primary use, what I bought this for, is for digging trenches. Um, in pasture, pasture, pasture number one over there. Um, the water seems to want to go that direction uh, during heavy rains and floods the stables out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, an irrigation trench um, around it that goes to the low elevation uh, to one of our um, culverts over there uh, in our driveway. And um, so this is going to do that. Um, it's rated according to the specs. It's only rated for a maximum of 35 horsepower tractor. Um, this is a 47 horsepower 4701. So knowing that, keep with that in mind, I'm going to tread lightly and um, just put it down, just lower it down about two inches, uh, I'll probably about three inches into the ground and just tread lightly, just, just trim and slim real carefully, make one run through and then if it looks like I need to go lower, uh, then I'll go back and do the same trench a little bit deeper. That way I don't bend or break this. Um, it seems seems to be pretty heavy duty steel, so I think I think I don't think this tractor is going to harm this implement. But pretty nice to have a um, this this device, and it's something that I'll be using um, always for always um, water floodage infrastructure maintenance it's land management's a constant thing here with the rains we have boy they when it rains it rains and today is going to be a beautiful day to do this little work so here we are first time putting it on so far, so good. That's a snap, man. There, it's, there it is, folks. There it is. All right, time to go play in the dirt. I think this is probably the only implement that um, I'll ever own that I can actually lift up and carry right to the tractor without having to back the tractor up to the implement and hook up that way like a trailer. surprise this is actually down all the way so I don't have to worry about putting too much torque and pressure on a 35 horsepower implement with a 47 horsepower tractor um, but really the truth is it's really all I need it's okay it didn't go as deep as I thought it would I even adjusted these arms down another notch um, but that's okay because uh, I don't want the cattle twisting their ankles and hurting themselves especially the new baby calf she loves to run and rip around and that will redirect water so i'm gonna go all the way over there uh to a culvert over there that goes underneath the driveway and way out into the the woods well i'm learning as i'm going this is an adjustment lever uh for whatever whatever i have on the back end it raises, it raises and lowers these arms, and um, it's got a little adjustment right here. It's kind of like a manual cruise control, if you will, for the um, height, or how low it goes. And um, so, in other words, if I have this adjusted here, it will never go lower than three. 
and, um, and if I have it down there where it was all the way to the bottom, um, the lowest it can go with this in there, it will never go lower than that. That way you don't overdo your work depending on what type of implement you have on the rear. But what I just did was I unscrewed the nut on the back for the first time, popped that baby off and bingo. Now I'm gonna go down probably an inch lower. So uh, I'll need to take this off for using the potato wedge device. Okay, just for this one pasture, it, it was perfect. Everything's gonna work just great. Um, boy, this is gonna be so, this is really full of what, in the spring and summer, this is all grazing, grazable grass. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Right on. It, it, it pulls up a lot of clumps. I can clean that up, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, just leave it alone. This is not a pretty garden. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's gonna, that's gonna do the job. All right, I cut a little um, small trench. You can see where it piles up over here, the water. Comes down this hill, piles down there, and then it just puddles and floods out over here. And right there is where we're gonna be having a shop uh, put in. So, um, yeah, constant excavation, constant uh, flood infrastructure maintenance, but, uh, it cut that very easily. It's just one one quick swipe when it starts raining tomorrow. Thursday, it'll be, uh, we'll have a nice snow snow Thursday. Yeah, that's really sweet. And then um, we have a, down there's a bank that goes through these woods that we have. And there's a river that runs through there. And that thing is loaded with frogs in the spring and summer. Just frogs galore. Yeah, that'll uh, that'll do it for today.